Hello friends, Namaste. This is Mandar Bhanushe and I have come up with a video tutorial to explain you how as a student uh, you can uh, log in to the University of Mumbai's learning management system which is based on the Moodle software and how you can make the best use of this learning management system. So let's go ahead. So the first thing what you have to do is to go to this website eclipse.mu.ac.in it is a website which is uh, having no www attached to it so it is directly you have to type eclipse.mu.ac.in and what you see on your screen is the username and password which you have to enter now you will get this username and password from your department and i'm just using a dummy name here just to show you the demonstration so you type the username and you also type the password the password is case sensitive and you have to take care of the capital letters and small case letters in this. Now once you log in into that, you will see this kind of uh, screen in front of you where you shall see these different course categories. So in fact these course categories are nothing but the various departments of our university. And you need to just go through this, scroll up and down to find out your particular department and uh, for this particular uh, the video tutorial I am using this Moodle training as my department wherein I have created a course for myself. In fact just to tell you something more about uh, the front page of the Moodle environment you see these tabs on the grey colored horizontal band home, dashboard, my courses, calendar and blog. So how do you use these different tabs? So home is nothing but this particular page where you have entered. The dashboard is where you will find customized page for your courses in which you are enrolled. So for example these things what you are seeing on the screen are currently the courses where this particular user uh, whose name is student1 which is a dummy user uh, is enrolled in these different types of courses. Now you can come to this right hand side option card where you can just change the layout of this if you don't want this kind of grid system you can take the list option where you will see the list of all courses where you have been enrolled. It also shows you the completion of your course, how much completion is. So for example these are just uh, newly enrolled courses but you can see this one course is 75% complete. So like this the completion rate also can be seen on the screen. You can also have a summary option where the name of the course little bit course summary also can be which is being uh, provided by the course creators can be seen on the screen. So you can change this layout the way you want and you can also uh, use this best uh, on the right hand side there is this calendar which will give you various events which are there as far as the courses in which you are enrolled. For example, if I just hover the mouse over this 27th August, I can see that there is uh, some lecture which has been scheduled on 27th August 9 am. So like this, uh, this uh, highlighted cells in the calendar will give you the respective activities or uh, events created by the course creator in the courses where you have been enrolled. So you can make use of this dashboard. The My Courses tab will give you a list of all courses where you have enrolled. So you need not search also. In this tab itself, you can just go to the course where uh, you are enrolled when you log in. Okay, so that is about what you can do about your front page. And uh, let us scroll down, go to the department. You will be only able to go in the course where you have been enrolled. I mean, if there are any other courses, there will be multiple courses but you will not be able to enter because you have to get enrolled by the course creator into that course. Now this is highlighted so I should be able to click and enter into the course. So let me click on the course and inside the course there are many things which uh, you should be definitely uh, trying out which has been which have been created by your teachers. So for example uh, this is a URL which is being provided by the teacher and this is a file which has been uploaded and which you can download so for example if i just click on this you see there is a pdf file which the teacher has uploaded for you right so this is a pdf file and you can just again go back then as i said this is a url which has been provided so if you click on this it will take you to the respective url it may be a video it may be a website whatever 
so the icons on the left also uh, ref, uh, reflect what the kind of material uh, whether it's a resource or what whether it is an activity this icon where you can see a group of people is a forum my request to all the students will be to definitely go inside these forums which have been created by your teachers and participate in the forum so if you just click on this forum which is a discussion forum you can see the responses which your classmates have made and you also can click on reply and participate in the discussion forum so do participate in this purple colored icon with three people which you can see which is a discussion forum uh, you all need to very actively participate in that these check boxes if they appear on your screen means it is for completion you have to say for example click it to say that you have completed this activity it may not be activated in every course if the teacher has created these kind of activity completion check boxes and if you finish those you can click on that and move ahead uh, if it may be activated it may not be activated i am just giving you the in this particular course it has been activated and enabled so you can see these check boxes in some courses the teachers automatically uh, detect whether the activity has been completed by a learner or not then the, you, this is a very good resource which you can see it's a, which is a book like of resource you can see the table of contents on the right hand side and these are different chapters you can either navigate vertically you, by clicking on these chapters or you can also navigate horizontally by clicking on these right and left arrows okay so these right and left arrows are also uh, available for horizontal navigation and you can also navigate inside these uh, pages using the vertical navigation so this is about a book type of resource which the teacher has uploaded again there is a file and there is a forum which you can see these are assignments so whenever you see this kind of icon uh, this kind of icon is about assignments so there are two types of assignments one assignment can be where you actually type the assignment answer in an editor box and another type of assignment is file submission where you submit a particular type of file it can be a word file pdf file video image whatever your teacher has asked for when you go to this you also immediately see the due date of submission of these assignments let us click on both of these one by one and see how it looks from the student point of view this is an online text assignment if i click on that it uh, gives me the description about the online assignment the question which the teacher has asked and it says the submission status is yet not attempted and it is not graded also the time remaining is also being reflected here and it gives you this button where you click on add submission and go for the submission this being the online text submission assignment uh, you will get this text editor box where you can type your answer okay now this is a simple uh, editor which is which uh, the toolbar which you see currently is only having one row but the first icon here if i click on this it gets expanded and you see this is a almost like a word editor which we generally use and you can use all these options like changing the font size making it bold italics making the color changes uh, bullet numbering you can add image video you can actually record your audio simultaneously when you are doing the submission etc so explore all these options uh, whatever is required for example this is an assignment submission so whatever is required for this assignment submission say for example i am just type writing these three words and i click on save changes once i click on save changes you see there is a still an option of editing my submission or removing the submission because the due date is not yet over right and also i have not clicked on the final submit assignment button here so unless you click here your assignment is not submitted you still have a scope so for example if i want to go back i click on edit submission and i can say type your answer for the assignment i made just some nominal changes and i click on save changes and i am sure now this whatever i have submitted is a final submission i don't have to do anything else and you can in fact see what you have typed right and click on submit assignment once you are done with that it also says once this assignment is submitted you will not be able to make any more changes so be sure before clicking on submit assignment now this being an online text assignment it also takes care of the uh, uh, copyright and anti plagiarism things so you have to accept that this submission is my own work except where i have acknowledged the use of works of other people and if i check this box and click on continue 
then only my assignment gets submitted so this is what is about the online submission you can now see that this is already being submitted for grading so this is about the online assignment similarly we have assignments of the type file submission where uh, again you have this instruction information about the assignment question you have the due date the time remaining and you have this option of add submission here the only difference here is that this being file submission assignment you have to submit a file okay the for example you see this particular assignment it also very clearly says that you have to submit a pdf file so your teacher probably will give you a hint that what kind of assignment file is you have to submit whether a word file a text file a pdf an excel sheet an audio file a video file whatever is prescribed accordingly you have to submit if you click on add submission this being a file submission assignment it will ask you to submit a pdf file and again once uh, this is very simple you just drag and drop your file into this box and once you have done with that you click on save changes and if your file is submitted here then definitely you will see this submission status here otherwise it will uh, say that it is not submitted yet okay so it is quite simple i need not show you the demo of that this is about the file submissions then under this uh, this course tab which you see which is a newly added tab inside your course you can see the participants the grades which you have received or the activities which your teacher has created okay these are all activities and resources is what is the course material whereas these what you see are activities like assignments attendance is also being taken there is a live session by the name big blue button inside moodle uh, we have a live session feature which is called as a big blue button through which uh, your teacher can conduct live virtual classrooms and you all can participate in that forums are for discussions and glossary is creating different multiple items for uh, the course so this is about the assignment submission similarly there is a quiz option here which you can click and attempt the quiz it's a multiple choice question kind of quiz there is a feedback form which is being uploaded by the teacher which you can fill and all these things are there so this is how you can participate in your course uh, one more thing i would like to share is this chat option which is there so you get some kind of messages right so those messages can be seen from this option here and uh, about your profile you can just go to the top right hand side where your student name is reflected and there's a small drop down arrow there click on that under that you have preferences where you can go and change your password you can edit your profile you can upload your photo and make your profile more lively so that is what you can do with your profile a word of caution here friends that if you change your password please make a note of it somewhere in your mobile phone or in your notebook because currently in our moodle learning management system we don't have a option of resetting the password by using forgot my password option because that option is not there in case you forgot forget your password it will be really difficult for you to get back and log in uh, with another password so if you uh, change the password which is being provided to you by the department please make sure that you save it in some uh, place where you will be able to find it later on also okay so that is about a brief description about the moodle website if you have some questions about the way things or the features which are there in moodle please write back to moodle admin at mu.ac.in so thank you very much for watching this video and enjoy the learning management system of university of mumbai best wishes to you thank you